So I find this a little bit intimidating because I have to show off, well, this map, but also compare it to Beta 5 and also talk about how it might have played even though it isn't finished and never will be, never will be played, unless I finished it and put some bot pathing in it. But I think I was trying to adopt a, if it isn't broke, don't fix it approach, but by that logic I'd have just made a few minor changes and fixes to beta 5 and shoved it out the door as final, but this was the decision to really, really, really expand on the map, like really expand on it. But I think that the basic core is fine. I've done up the roof area a bit there, that's fine. Um, and what's down there, I wonder? We're we'll, we'll about to find out. So I think, at least for the core area, okay, everything's fine. It looks like kind of normal. Um, that side's not been worked on, so it's essentially, well, mostly, just ignore that still being there. That wouldn't be had this been developed a bit further. But instead of the teleporter tunnel here, So that's the alternative to the teleporter tunnel, like a, still a conveyor belt, but kind of makes a bit more sense, no teleporter spits you out in this platform. This platform was here in Beta 5, but you could never get to it. Um, I wonder if people looked up it and thought, hmm, was that maybe planned to be something? Um, and yes, this is roughly what it was going to be for. So in Beta 5, this node was just the one level down there, and this has got this walkway around it. And I don't particularly like these metal panels. They don't look quite right. Um, kind of red doesn't work very well, I don't think. But, you know, who's, uh, who's going to care now? But again, this basic node area hasn't been changed at all. The, just the upper level's been added. And again, this obviously isn't done, just ignore the um, smoke smoke coming out of nowhere and uh, the water's been removed. Um, trying to show off kind of what's been done, what would have been done. So one of the big, big changes, and this is one which I made years and years ago when I first started expanding it out to Beta 6. So this trough, I guess you'd call it, is actually accessible now. Because I felt like Foundry had a lot of wasted vertical height um, and this was a way of using that height so instead of this just being a kind of decorative thing you can actually come up here and uh, gain the alternative route to the node makes perfect sense I think gives you a new perspective on the map as well now oh, there's, there's so much to show off that I don't want it to be overwhelming um, it was overwhelming for me to make, to be honest, a lot of, what, what the kind of um, little passages we're about to see. So, I think, so these are new, these little vents here, so we can drop down here. Oh, that's right, that side's a jump pad. So if you're down there, you can use that way to come back up. That's right, this is the one which actually goes down. We'll, we'll go down there later on. So this is just hanging about underneath the coast. Yeah, this area, this wasn't here at all in Beta 5. I added it initially as a decorative thing. Then I thought maybe you could actually have a way of getting down here. So that's us now looking up at the bottom of the core. Now, I think you'd actually be able to damage the core from here. Hmm. And one idea I was kicking about was you could have this as a kind of damage zone. So wherever you're in here, you're steadily taking damage, which means you could come down here and shoot the core in relative safety from the people at the core spawning up there, but you couldn't hang about forever. And of course, anybody else could just drop down and get you from under here. So, yeah. Welcome to the ice room. This this was the sewage room. That's right, I'm already losing track of what I've actually done with this. So this is quite sparse decoration. So instead of being that kind of drainage chamber, this would be, you know, it's very, this would be a kind of refrigeration, ice, cooling, heat exchanger. Just throw off a bunch of words like that. And this would kind of tie into... Well, the other side of the map would be a kind of a hot room, kind of lava, flames, that kind of stuff. Make more sense. So, and the idea being that this now links together with the main hall. 
the name of the game with this map was to make it far, far more interconnected. I mean, if it found we had a reasonable amount of flanking anyway, it at least had the little tunnels and, you know, it wasn't a completely linear, bog-standard map. But I kind of got a bit obsessed with the extent to which... Oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, I think something's gone on with lighting here. It shouldn't be that dark. But uh, I think maybe I've just misplaced the lights. I didn't add them in. I don't know. Okay. So this... I think this looks quite impressive. This is underneath that conveyor belt. This is like an air intake. Um, a giant fan, etc. So this is the way which goes down to the, the lava room under the node. So that's us looking up through the sky, up through that conveyor belt. This takes us back to the hall, that's right. Yes, yeah, another little link there. What I'm going to do... See this particle effect? This is something which I worked on quite recently, actually. So this map is a bit of a mix of stuff that I worked on years and years ago. You know, when the community was still somewhat active and I guess people were looking for a beta 6, so at least might be wondering what's going to happen. This is something which I worked on much more recently. This kind of particle effect to the fan sparks. I have a big conversation about why this was a bit of a pain to do. And it gives you a good view of the kind of air effects here. But we'll put game speed back to normal. I think, yeah, let's come down here. This is something which, again, I was working on recently, and I, I got carried away with expanding the map, even though it would never be shown off except in this, and probably no one's ever going to watch it. Well, that's a nice image. So this is supposed to be a kind of burner, um, you know, furnace, whatever you want to call it. And I think it doesn't look particularly good from this perspective. This kind of gives away a lot of what I'm going to be showing you, but... Um, Yes, this was supposed to be, you know, a kind of burner, and this would be a kind of giant heat exchanger with lava pipes all the place. And so that side's the air intake, and the other side is you haven't worked on this bit of it. That would be an exhaust going up, so you'd have the air coming in, getting burned, and through the air heat exchanger, maybe a turbine or something like that. So it was supposed to make a little bit more sense as an actual map, I guess. You know, okay, found, you know... It, it's meant to be slightly realistic, as in, okay, there's power and heat and whatnot. And obviously, it won't be built like this, but it's supposed to make a little bit more sense as a kind of... And a kind of vague industrial complex. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It kind of makes sense when you put in things like this. I think... Yeah, go back up and show off... More of all these little passes. I'm going to have some difficulty not getting myself uh, lost here. <laughs> it would all be signposted, you know. These, this would be you no know, air intake, and there'll be little signs all over the place. You can at least roughly find your way around when you're in all these little corridors. So this is actually underneath what I've called the main hall down the side. This is an interesting little feature where so you've got the two tunnels which intersect here. And so you can decide to just keep going down this one, or if you jump, you can can yes, there we go, and come up there like that. There's a kind of way of uh, letting the player choose where to go, basically, without needing any fancy doors or other ramps or anything. So yeah, that I think I've just forgot to put lights in here. <laughs> so if you come down here, that's right. Ah, so this is where all the lights have went. They've all, they've all put them in here. <laughs> So this brings us back out into the main hall. So that's where we were up there at the node. That's the conveyor belt coming out of the air intake. So this is a bit of a labyrinth, it really is. And again, I got far too carried away with putting all this stuff in, but you'll kind of see why. You know, this would be much, much more flanking routes. And that's just a dead end because it's basically. Did I actually? Yeah, that's just a dead end. That's as far as I got with this. But again, a clever way of doing it where if you just keep walking, you go down here, and you only need to do is a little jump, and you can pop up here. 
this is all the same. So, and again, if I put lights in this, who knows? And this takes me back to... That's that fan there. So I'm already lost, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's right, that takes me back to the... That's right, let's go this way. So if we keep going... No, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out into the, the courtyard. Yes, and it is like much more of an actual courtyard now. So this, and of course, just ignore this being absolutely uh, terrible as well. Now, I can't remember if I actually put it in, but so that's the ice room. And that's supposed to... Ah, right, okay, so this must be... So yeah, that, that this was previously going down to the coolant chamber. And you see, this now brings it up here. <laughs> yep, it's a, right, it's a right old labyrinth. It's designed to be. Back out into the courtyard. Now, this is one of the big ideas I had. This was very enclosed in Beta 5, and this is obviously much more open here, possibly too open. One of the ideas is that this, instead of being this kind of concrete, this would be actual terrain. You know, we'd have kind of dirt courtyard, and maybe on the other side of the map, that's what I would have done. But for illustration purposes. So the node's now down, which gives you a bit more vertical axis to play with. Much more interesting. You'd see more of the exterior, and you'd be seen right out into a kind of stockyard there. And there's another little walkway there. And again, it's quite complicated trying to show this all off and we're probably not even a third of the way done this is this has gone on for a bit yet so this would be the new coolant chamber which is in not quite the same place but kind of equivalent so yeah this takes us back up to the ice room that takes us back up where does this go again that's right that's what links back to here <laughs> Yep, maybe got a bit carried away with all oh, these little passages. And this takes us... This is a jump pad, that's right. It takes us back up to here. This takes us back up to here, thank you. There we go. And again, if you do it right, you can drop down here as well. Um, so you can both jump up it and drop back down it. So this is one of the big things I was wanting to put in. So this is us directly underneath. Uh, the central node, that big lava bath. This takes us back up to the, the core. Come up here. There we go. Just to give you a better idea of where this all actually is. So that brings us down here. And obviously the other side of it's not been done yet. Th this mm, was a bit darker originally. So I've been tweaking lighting and various things so this is supposed to be quite a kind of dark space, um, but I've probably too much effort in it considering um, how little it's going to be shown off. So I think, yeah, this was quite fun to put in. So this brings us back up right in the middle of this node. <laughs> so yeah, you actually get to see a bit more of the space. And this brings us back, what on earth happened there? Possibly a bit of missing collision, I think. Yeah, that's it. So this brings us back to uh, underneath the node. That's a nice effect. Well, it's a bit blinding there. We could argue right next to molten steel. You, you, you should be blinded if in fact you're not dead. So this is the same. This basic uh, node here is the same. I've got this rotating platform. That, that's glitchy. That's actually the other side of the... Whatever. It shouldn't be like that, but it is. Uh, go complain about it. So that's the way which takes us up underneath the node, back up to the lava. But it's very shallow that, I don't know, I always kind of thought, you'd imagine that metal going much deeper, but apparently just the way that was built and the way the bit underneath was built is actually quite shallow. I think... Yeah, let's just take a quick... I'm already, I'm getting lost in my own map, that's how bad this is. <laughs> Here's another view of the fan. So this walkway, ah, okay, that, that's supposed to be an open, 
Okay, so that's, I think that's a Nissan Zone portal texture. I don't know, whatever. But yeah, this would take you out into this walkway. And this is very hastily put together just to show the point. Maybe you see, this would be another alternative way down. And it still doesn't make much sense that this thing's spewing endless metal. But eh, again, what are you going to do about it? So what was I going to show off now? Yeah, that's a nice effect, that. I quite like that bit. This, there would be a equivalent um, walkway across the other side. You'd have an interesting battle. up. There's all these questions about, well, how do we balance it? And prevent it from just being a completely linear sniper colour. Maybe there should be barricades in the middle of here like there is down there. But again, academic questions now. The problem with it very hastily putting things together is uh, sometimes collision's not quite right and there's gaps in the map. So this would bring you up onto a platform here. And obviously you can see this is very unfinished, but you'd be kind of looking off into a stockyard in one direction, the courtyard on the other side, maybe have a cityscape in the background. I think that would be kind of interesting. Like it's supposed to feel like much more of a small part of a much bigger world rather than just foundry, which is incredibly... Just felt like it's all not universe foundry. Better five, I mean, so this is meant to look more like a actual place, if you know what I mean. Now, this is a bit of a questionable feature because mm, something will go wrong when you're moving it as well. This looks really cool, okay, it gives you some really nice vertical axis in the central node. Okay, this looks really interesting, but I don't know if it's actually good from a game, pay game play point of view. Because if you're down there, at least the fight is very focused on that platform, but you'd have a situation where, okay, imagine trying to hold this node while a bunch of people are messing about on this thing, raining down fire, and you're trying to shoot up at them, maybe you'd have a jump pad to come up here. You know, it could be really epic, in quotes, to have an interesting fight on this moving platform, whilst there's also a fight going down there, and people are jumping back and forth from the nodes and coming from these courses. It could be really good, or it could just be so chaotic as to be a massive headache to try and attack or defend this node. But again, at least for illustration purposes, it was nice to put this in. Just to show, you know, maybe something which could have been done with this node. I don't know, I'm not as enthusiastic as I thought it was going to be about this, but... I keep saying it. I don't really know what to say about it. I, I... It's a lot of work's been put in for something which, as I say, is completely pointless. Now, this takes us back to the um, lava chamber under the under the node there. That would be a tunnel going down to the, you know, I would have ever worked on this side of the map, other than doing this. So this was another attempt to make the map feel a bit more, you know, not hemmed in. And it's kind of not exactly finished, it doesn't look particularly great, but you, you can see what I'm going for here. This is supposed to be a road and maybe looking off into the city again, you know. Obviously if this is decorated properly it would look a lot more interesting. But it at least gives it a bit more combat space and slightly more interesting. Because in Beta 5 this was just like a weird kind of tunnel with a fan in it. Um, and it was an alternative route but not very interesting as an alternative route. And this, this side's completely the same. So that at least shows, there's not really much point in showing more of that off, I don't think. You can see the idea. I think what is worth showing off is, oh, I've still got to see a bit more of the sump, that's right. This would be called the sump or drainage chamber, central drainage, I don't know. And had this all been finished, there would have been water running down. You know, it's supposed to be a kind of rough drainage system, I mean, design drainage for my job actually. So, I can, But I can tell you one thing, water falls downhill. So, yeah, there's going to be drainage coming from that refrigeration room running down here into this big sump. And this is actually water. Right? Not exactly a great texture, but I've just been pulling it all out of the, the game, you know, the existing assets. So, good enough, good enough. This, I don't know if I've sorted the collision on this yet. So th this, 
Yeah, you used to have to obviously think that had this been finished off and polished properly, that would have been a lot more seamless than you would have had a... Actually, getting a pipe to go through a rock mesh and into a kind of square BSP corridor is kind of tricky. It's one of the things no mapper likes to have to do. It's doable, but it's, it's really annoying to make it neat and tidy. But this brings us up underneath, even deeper into the map. So this is the uh, burner chamber, as your intake again, so that's another link. This... How does this work again? So that, that's coming down from the... Oh, there we go. Right, okay, so this... Imagine this is a kind of fan corridor, well, fan corridor, fan tunnel. As you see here, if I can actually inform myself through this incredibly poorly placed mesh. Yeah, I was kind of halfway through trying to refine this and I just kind of got bored of it. So th th this would lift you up and pop you out here, which is very nice. And again, there would be a way of getting out of here, up, back up to that kind of main hall. So it would be even more interconnected than this, but you know, it's missing a few stairways and jump pads and whatnot. So I think, and I keep forgetting that, that again, there, there would be a jump effect there to make it obvious that's the, you know, a jump, well, there would be a jump effect to let you know there's a jump effect, you know, kind of particle effect to let you know there's a jump pad there. So if you come down into the water, this would be an overflow pipe, and again, imagine nice particle effects of water actually running down this pipe. And again, just ignore me phasing through the rock here. I turned the collision off on that one, and again, this doesn't exactly look good, so we'll come to here. So this is a kind of lower drainage chamber, and the ultimate ambition was that every one of these pipes would leap. Oh dear. Through the magic of video editing, we'll just pretend absolutely nothing happened there. So this, this is meant to be a kind of central sewer. And the ambition was that every one of these, these have just been placed here just because, but so that one's one that takes you back up to the sump, but you can't actually go up that way. The ultimate idea is that every one of these pipes would link to other places in the map, and there'd actually be a kind of functional, in quotes, you know what I mean, drainage system. So wherever you are in the map, you could follow the drainage pipes down here and also go pretty much anywhere else in the map through these pipes. So this is an example of what I mean, very, very simple here, obviously. So this takes me back up to, this is the chamber linking back to the sump, so that's the tunnel which would pull me up. So that's roughly where I am in this, and this way, this is basically, this exact point is where I kind of gave up expanding this. Again, I was working on this more recently and was really, really enthusiastic about making this map a lot bigger until I kind of wasn't. And this is basically where I kind of thought, right, I think I've had enough of this. So this should take me, I'll say should take me, unless this is randomly, unless the laws of physics have changed or the file's been corrupted in a very specific way, this will take me back up to this outside space. So yeah, that, that would have been another link, another tunnel, gravity tunnel, fan tunnel, lift, you know what I mean, stairwell, ladder, some method of locomotion which would take you back up to the that side of the level. It's a zone portal texture. It's not a zone portal, it's a zone portal texture is a difference. And obviously there's no lighting in here because I said I just kind of burned out on expanding this. This, ex this exact corridor is pretty much where it's like, right, I think I'm done with this. So this is an example of this wood, and there would be water running down here. This would take you, along with the other pipes, back to this central sewer pump pump, sump, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, you could pop out here and all these pipes would take you to other parts of the level. Now, if you'd come down here for real, you know what I mean, in a kind of actual match and this map was finished, you'd probably come down here and you'd think, okay, there's nothing obviously down there. Well, kind of obvious, but Oh, that's right. This this at one point was a kind of, I call it a gravity tunnel, a fan tunnel that would just suck you up. Um, sounded a bit wrong. Um, I think I started to put a moving platform into it instead, but just kind of 
I didn't quite get there. Again, I kind of was running out of energy and motivation at this point. So th that's right, this this takes you back up to this. This, this is a vent for the sewage pump. Pump, we could call it a pump sump, whatever you want to call it. So you can at least see how all this was kind of vaguely linking together. Which brings me to the kind of secret of Better Sex, which again I put in quite recently because I was kind of... There's a tremendous amount of effort that I put into this or something which is only being shown off this one time. But the, the, the kind of joke would be, you'd come down here and the obvious way of going would just be following this pipe up and the idea being there's nothing actually down here. And again, the effect of this isn't great, but you'd come down here and this would just be a dark, well, very dark soon. Th this would be damage over time. And, you know, noxious. would be a sign saying, you know, toxic atmosphere. So whenever you're down here, you're getting constant damage. Now, you're not at the moment. But had it been done properly, you'd be getting constant damage. It'd be a big bright thing, so you know, emergency escape, teleport or something like that, if you take you back up to the main level. So anyone that fell down here would just think, oh, I'm getting damaged over time, take the emergency escape. There's nothing down here. But the joke would be that you'd go a bit further forward and you'd find this. And again, th this isn't the way it would actually be because it's too obvious. And you know, this would be another 90 degrees rounder, you know, something to disguise a bit more. But for, again, illustration purposes, you would come along here and up onto this charming little thing. This was a lot of effort copying and pasting the same mesh and uh, putting these little pipes and little crossing cables so it's not completely monotonous. So I guess this would be the secret of Foundry Beta 6 rather than the Manta. Again, I take the Manta out because it's just too obvious. And again, this would be a kind of much more fully featured water treatment facility. Again, for illustration purposes, I've just whacked a big water tank in here. But you can imagine this all being like a proper facility, lots of fancy particle effects and decoration, all sorts of amazing things rather than just a big room. And again, this would be a, you know, that's not terrible looking for something that I just swapped together, I suppose. So I suppose the joke of Beta 6 would be that we'd come all this way right, down that sewer and along here and through the treatment plant. Yes, just excuse my voice starting to go there. Good place to do it. So yeah, th th this would be the kind of in-joke of Beta 6 would be the fact that you could actually come all the way out of the map to this kind of lovely little forest and there'd be a redeemer here um, and be some way of getting back. Maybe you could summon that train back, train, little moving car back, you know, it's some way of getting back from here to the main level, and this would be even more fleshed out with decoration. I've always had a little joke, there's going to be a beach down there, and you could put a manta there. <laughs> you can imagine having like a big wide open space you could just tool around in the manta with. And this, by the way, is the first new particle effect I've made in a very long time. Getting my head back around the particle, I that looks terrible, considering I'm very out of practice with it. But I just thought it would be a bit of a funny joke. It was a funny joke how much effort I put into making this recently. Um, that, you know, you could come all the way from Foundry to here and just have a nice little relaxing... Um, a nice relaxing look at this little misty forest swamp. And you can imagine this being, you know, really nice and all sorts of fancy lights and particle effects, fireflies, maybe a moon in the sky, maybe traffic going overhead, you know, planes and boats, whatnot. You can imagine so you spend the whole of time just making this look a lot nicer. But you get the idea of it being a bit of a kind of elaborate joke that this part of the foundry actually exists. <laughs> and with that, I don't really think there's much more to say. Or I'm blowing myself up. I think that's me effectively shown. Again, I'm on um, the other team now. So this is just the old fashioned. Uh, let me make these changes and... I don't know. I must have started to do this side up a bit as well, because that's not quite how... I can't even remember my own map at this point. 
See, this is now on the... Remember I said all the, the dust on the mat, you can use a level designer can set that. It's one fixed colour for the whole level. If it's more sophisticated, it maybe change based on the colour underneath the fan. So, you know, if it was snow, it would be white. If it was dark, it would be brown. But, you know, they just uh, you can set it in the level properties. So I set it to this kind of lurid magenta, whatever you want to call it. So that's Foundry Beta 6. And that's my voice going again. Thank you. So I don't think there's all that much more to show. I've actually basically get that, that. That was a long time. It was a lot of effort I've been putting in this again for something which... It's maybe overcomplicated. I'll probably speak about this separately, but I think the map, especially with all these little ducts and everywhere, would be in danger of becoming overconnected and like a real proper labyrinth. But, you know, well, we'll never know now. <laughs> I was just going to show off where that, um, I think it's kind of, oh, it's obvious that, that that health pickup under the stairs would loop down onto one of the little tunnels underneath. And again, maybe there'd be a way of getting up from there, but I hope this is the right side of the map. This, this is what would be called the normal side of the map I've not started working on yet. So this part hasn't been changed. It's basically you know, the same layout, but far more elaborate little passages. So I can actually do this without dying this time. Yes, this is looking down into that um, space here, and this takes you back up into these, I guess you'd call them air ducts, because they're nice and shiny. And you see the way all this kind of links together, that's right, this takes you back to the core. Central mode. That's right, and again, this isn't lit properly, but... Uh, And this takes you back out through the courtyard. That's right. And this takes does this take you straight to the core as well. This is one of the last things which I put in. This takes you back to the sump. That's right. So yet another passage which could link which could link to yet another passage. Yet another. You can see how elaborate all these little interconnected bits would be. Just a quick, or perhaps not so quick, look at this map in the editor, because it's interesting to see it from that perspective. So the thing which became quite obvious was just the level of connectedness, all these little tunnels. See, that this computer's even struggling to render all this, and that's saying something, you know, given how powerful this is compared to you know, the hardware that this engine was originally designed for. So it's pretty crazy seeing all the little passageways. It's quite fun to build all this, but it wouldn't be fun to make it a bit prettier than just you know, interconnected, sloped boxes. Nevertheless, it's quite pretty. See how much deeper the level is, and you know, there's even more things I could have done with this. Even more passages, even more links, but you got to kind of call a stop to it eventually. What is it they say? A piece of art is never done, it's only abandoned. Well, I guess that applies to this. Now, one of the issues I was beginning to run into, and I'm going to make a demonstration of videos of this, possibly towards the end of the series. I mentioned in the last video on Beta 5 that Fit Foundry has no coherent exterior. And what I mean by this, so what I've done there is I've toggled off the skybox, um, and again we'll get on to this, but essentially these walls are, well, they're not... So the black void is solid space, and the level is subtracted space, hollow space. But this wall, for example, is set as being skybox, so you toggle the skybox rendering on, that, that just renders straight through into the skybox. And normally the way this would be done is you would have an outdoor level and all the walls around the level would be set to skybox, everything's fine. Now a problem that we have here, if I turn on the skybox, now if you were down here, this wall, outside wall, looks a little bit odd. 
And that's because if we were to go into the main level again, if this boiler here, and as a matter of fact, you should be able to see that boiler from down here. There's a straight, there's a sight line to it, but because of the way the sky box essentially takes mine, can I see it there, I suppose? Yeah, see, th this is not something the engine is really meant to be doing. You can kind of see it, but then you can't, you can see the mesh, but you can't see the kind of inside of the space, which you should really be seeing. I, I hope I'm not coming off incoherent myself, but essentially, that's a separate cube for that courtyard, and there's a separate, you know, subtracted cube for that road section, and there's a separate one for that above, and there's a separate one for the space above the fan, and it all just becomes a bit of a mess. It's not a kind of coherent space when it starts rendering the skybox. So that was a bit of an issue, but again, I'll make a video kind of explaining in a bit more detail with an example what, why this problem exists and why it can be so difficult to solve. So one thing I did add, and I didn't add this in beta 5 for quite good reasons, this flare effect, you know, emissivity, glow of the steel, looks really, really, really nice. But it's a bit of a cheat. Because the following game, Unreal Tournament 3, which I made a few maps for, supports this by uh, you know, natively emissivity. You get that glow effect around the lights, etc. This engine doesn't, so this has been faked. And the way it's been faked is with the Corona textures. So made a little example out here. So a single Corona is just a nice soft glowing texture around light sources, it looks quite nice, or it can be a kind of hard flare as well, just depending on what, you know, that's a corona with a much harder flare, depending on what texture you set. So that's a nice soft flare, uh, and if you put a load of them on a line, you get that nice glowing effect, which looks great. And I knew it would look great way back in beta 5, I thought about doing it, but there's a reason I didn't. So if the engine, and this goes for basically any game engine, if it just has to render a polygon, then you know we're looking straight at that tank, there's no problem. But if you're looking at that tank through a translucent texture, it adds a little bit of complexity, you know, it's more computation for it to do. So if you stack a bunch of translucent textures, it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Because it's, it's neither a solid, it's not a solid surface or invisible, it's translucent. So it's going to have to do, the engine's going to have to do more and more work, working out exactly what the stuff on the other side looking through all these coronas should look like. And there's actually a tool in the editor. Uh, I don't know why it comes up as unknown. This should be called depth complexity, which is basically measuring how, you know, the, I guess how difficult it is to render stuff. So if I'm just looking uh, through that single corona, it's hardly noticeable, but if you look through multiple coronas, you see it getting orange there, that's indicating, so the engine telling you that it's going to be more and more complicated to render stuff through all these coronas. Yes, yeah, so that's a good example where from here it's fine, it's just drawn straight into the courtyard. But as I come down and start looking at it through these coronas, you just see how the depth complexity really piles up. So if you did this back when this game first launched, you'd have a kind of angry horde battering down your door demanding you pay up for their graphics cards that you melted at really, really tank frame rates. In fact, one of the optimization options in this game is to turn off coronas completely, because it's one of those that looks really nice, but you know it's not strictly necessary. So it's a shame that such a nice effect, it really does add a lot to the map, I think. It's just a shame that it wasn't practical to put it in back in beta 5. I, I, I tried it, but I, I knew, no, this just isn't sustainable. And doubly so at the uh, central node, which again looks so nice. Um, but all of this orange here, that's the engine itself telling you this would be an absolute nightmare to render. Just too difficult, we'd drag the frame rates down too much, so fortunately it wasn't happening. The other thing that's a bit silly looking at it in the editor is you see the, you know, the kind of beach space, I keep calling it a beach, um, which of course is way off to the side of the, the main level. I don't know what happens if you try and extend beyond the boundary 
I've never actually tried it, maybe I will. So yeah, that, that's Foundry, which isn't, a, well, not, never been a big level, but a 5. It wasn't incredibly small either. Um, you can appreciate how big the, <laughs> how big the level editing space. And of course, this is only in two dimensions we're looking at this. So it's very possible that when I close this editor, that's it, that's the last time Beta 6 will ever be seen by anyone. It'll just be condemned to languish in my, I was going to call it a hard drive, it's actually on an SSD now. All the maps are backed up on a hard drive, I just copy it. I'm not going to bore you with it. Um, so it's a little bit sad thinking this, this is it for Foundry, the, the, the one meaningful thing I've done creatively in terms of people actually, you know, playing it, enjoying it, commenting on it. And this is where it was going to go. It's never going to be seen again. But I guess at least I can think about all the good times people did have on Beta 5. <laughs>